This is going to be fun. That's what I like better than a 100 meter engine carry. Let's see how we go. On. So normally when you uh, test fit an engine, you normally move the engine around the chassis. <laughs> Not this. Yeah, it'll fit. Now, I want to make sure it's the same ride height as standard. Luckily, got another one. So, engine mats are back in both sides. I've gone for the original ones because why wouldn't you? They were there. And also, when parts wear out, you can just buy them online. I think they'll come for a set for about 40 quid. So, I'd rather do that than have to make something again. Plus, this thing's rattly enough. It doesn't need to be solid mounted. Don't want a bit of flex. Alright. Let's make some plates. Okay, this engine's back out. I'm gonna rip all the stuff we don't need off it. But it's a nice chunky bit of steel. A cut for underneath the sump. Then connect up between the two engine mounts. It's not far off, but it's gonna need a little undercut. Cut that out of there. And then plate it up and then go from there. the engine stripped down as bare as it's going to be for a while uh, might take the coolant hoses off quick and the boost pipe apart from that ready to start fabricating the engine mount okay so we've got a basic mock-up of an engine mount just to get it in there so we can start working around with how high we're going to have it. Probably going to cut this off for now and drop it down so this is sort of flush with the bottom of the chassis. That's where we reckon it needs to be. But this is just purely for is it going to fit? Yes. How heavy is it? I can still pick it up. So not heavy enough. But try and salvage a gearbox from someone. See if we can start throwing it together. <laughs> 